a big animal advocate and a supporter of all the local rescues. Um, if anyone did not get a candle, we brought out a new box of new candles, so please come get your candle. We want everyone to participate who wants to. And then also, at the front gate there, we have two memorial um, kind of poster boards where you can just kind of sign your name, sort of like a... haven't signed it already, sign it on your way out. We really appreciate that to, to keep here. Um, all right, well, again, thank you all for coming. I know this was short notice, but we, many of us felt that it was just very important to have some kind of service or memorial to recognize what happened here, to kind of try to understand why and how we can come together to prevent something like this from happening again. So with that, I'd like to introduce Pastor Anthony Walker from Grace Corner United Methodist Church. He's going to come and give the opening remarks. Good evening. We are absolutely delighted that so many of you showed up from our city and surrounding parts uh, to take part in this uh, meaningful and worthwhile occasion. I'd like to spend just a moment uh, to bring some focus to our scattered minds and kind of wondering thoughts. Um, I, as I begin to think about uh, this tragedy and uh, think about this, the happenings for this evening, um, I, my mind was kind of forced to Luke chapter 12 and verse number 6. Uh, Luke's Gospel, the 12th chapter and the 6th verse says, What is the price of five sparrows, two copper coins, yet God does not forget a single one of them? I thought about this incident, um, although, you know, the, the, the legal terminology would uh, have us to believe that animals or pets um, are nothing but pur purchased property. The truth of the matter is that for many of us that have found ourselves in this surrounding and this setting tonight, we know that pets are more than purchased property, uh, that pets are for a lot of us partners, uh, for many of us they're playmates, uh, for others of us they're protectors. Um, so as we kind of focus and center ourselves tonight, may we think on those things. Shall we pray together? Merciful and mighty God, we pray that swift justice against those guilty of animal cruelty, we pray to God that it will be carried out. We also pray, dear Lord, that transformation of them will take place. With forgiving hearts, we seek that they will not be objects of our rage, but rather they taste your redemption. We pray for the speedy healing of the injured animals. We pray for the strong support of this damaged shelter and for strategic awareness for the care of such precious lives. It is in the strong name of Jesus we pray, who bears this prayer from our hearts to heaven's throne. Amen. Next we'd like to have Mayor 